Have you ever been around someone who's trying to be something or someone that they're not? You know, I remember a man from my childhood who was like that. If you did something significant, he had done something bigger. If you were having a serious surgery, why yours wasn't as bad as the one he had. And if you received an award at work, he said they gave those to everybody, but the one he received, well, that only went to the top person. You know, as a boy, even then, I noticed he was the hero in every story he told. And I began to wonder, why? Why does he do it? Then I realized he wasn't comfortable with who he was. So he was constantly trying to be something he wasn't. Or to put it another way, he struggled with his identity. He wanted to be admired, and deeper still, he wanted to be loved. You know, later I realized he lived with a lot of stress, the stress of worrying that somebody would discover the truth about him. And maybe you struggle that way too. Well, then think about Jesus. You know, 18 times in the New Testament, he said, I am, and gave a description. He knew who he was, and he rested in that identity. So, do you know who you are? If not, maybe you need to spend time alone in God's Word, discovering who God says you are, His creation fearfully and wonderfully made and beloved by Him. Because when you grasp that truth, you don't have to pretend to be what you are not because you know who you are. And you'll discover you don't have to be the hero of every story. I'll see you tomorrow.